You have the right to work only, but never to its fruits. Let not the fruits of action be your motive, nor let your attachment be to inaction. This core philosophy is the guiding light of Sri Ashish Chauhan, the pioneer of Nifty Index, equities market and screen-based trading in the country. Currently MD and CEO of the Bombay Stock Exchange. As one of the most influential figures in modern Indian finance, he has appended the world of stockbroking not once, but twice. Today, he stands tall by making BSE as the fastest stock exchange in the world. It is his passion for hard work and an inner drive to help his fellow beings that has leveraged his success story. He carries a humble demeanor which camouflages his myriad achievements. Going with the flow, his core philosophy has indeed made his career path a dream journey. Born in Ahmedabad, his parents hailed from Bawla, a tiny hamlet on the outskirts of Ahmedabad. Ashish was nurtured in a middle-class household and he studied in a Gujarati medium school. Both his parents were well educated. His father, an engineer, worked for the government of Gujarat and his mother, a gold medalist in economics. Post-schooling, he applied for admission in IIT in mechanical engineering as a friend was applying there. A study in English at this stage was a painstaking process of understanding word by word with the help of a dictionary but he soon overcame the hurdle. Post his graduation, he went in for his MBA at the IIM. In 1991, he was selected by ITBI. Being technology friendly, he soon moved ahead of others with ease. It was his belief that if technology was adapted at the right time for the right purpose, the society would surely benefit at large. When IDBI initiated setting up of the NSE, Ashish was chosen as a part of the five-member team. With his co-founding the NSE in 1992, the capital markets were shaken with the NSE becoming the country's first demutualized electronic exchange. His sharp skills and an acute foresight made him a trailblazer in the world of modern finance. At the helm of NSE's equities market, he became a game-changer. It's his humility that he says he was lucky to be at the right place at the right time. He pushed derivatives hardest at the NSE and today he is acknowledged as the father of modern financial derivatives. In 2000, after 8 years of struggle on regulatory, technology, concept marketing and other issues, NSE was ready to commence derivatives. But Ashish decided to quit and start his own B2B e-commerce business at a peak when NSE had already become India's leading trading platform. When the e-commerce bubble burst and Ashish was at a low, the Reliance Group requested him to help them in updating internal systems. Here he got involved in diverse verticals, corporate communications, mobile telephony, organized retail, oil and gas refining, education, etc, etc. Then in 2008, when Reliance bought Mumbai Indians for IPL, Ashish was given the responsibility to make it happen, making him head the gamut of promotion, branding, etc. In just a year, there came another turning point. In 2009, after a hundred plus years of its life, the Bombay Stock Exchange brought Ashish on its board as Deputy Chief Executive Officer. This was at a time when the majority of the brokers were convinced that he would not join BSE. BSE's benchmark index, the Sensex, comprising the country's 30 largest and most actively traded stocks, serves as a measure of India's overall economic health. At BSE, he injected a new verve and drive. And in just three years, he secured a double promotion as BSE's Managing Director and CEO. Ask a cab driver at a railway station or airport to take you to the stock exchange and he will bring you straight to BSE, says Ashish. 
the BSE raised $185 million in its initial public offering in January 2017, enriching more than 9,500 shareholders. The shares jumped as much as 49% on debut. Way back in 2009, this feat was thought to be impossible. Today, Ashish is at work at BSE to consolidate further from the distribution of corporate bonds and mutual funds to sharper focus on SMEs. Another feather in his cap has been the activation of India International Exchange or the INX, a pet project of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Wholly owned by the BSE, this new exchange will operate 22 hours a day from within a special economic zone, the International Financial Services Centre in Gujarat. A distinguished visiting professor at the Ryerson University, Toronto, Canada, Ashish has garnered several international and Indian awards and his presence in several prestigious institutions benefits them with many a new insight and initiatives. Ashish Johan epitomizes a young and dynamic India, a country where there is no limitation to fulfilling one's dreams, irrespective of where you begin.